At the start of Saturday, we yes. were pretty sure, pretty sure now mm -hmm. Syracuse will get a bid. The Orange had lost only two games all year, but one of them was to Louisville. Cardinals also seemed sure of playing in the NCAA tournament, but uh, Coach Rick Pitino figured a second win over Syracuse would seal it, so that's good incentive. Sure. Playing the last game at Legendary Freedom Hall also gave the home team a little extra juice. A record crowd for the 823rd Louisville game in the historic gym. Looking for win number 682. 20,135 showed up. Gym opened in 1956. The court named after Denny Crum because he hung those banners. National titles in 80 and 86. Cuse, look at the hustle. Andy Routens diving for the steal. Chris Joseph over to Scoop Jardine who had 20. And the Orange looking to avenge that loss to Carrier Dome last month. Another turnover. Routens up to Joseph this time to finish it off. Syracuse up six. Routens stealing again. The basketball is valuable. Let's keep possession of that thing, kids. Jardine lays it in. Syracuse up five at intermission, but in the second half. Jerry Smith injured his thumb in the first half, so he's out the rest of the game. Who's going to step up? How about Kyle Carrick? who was averaging three and a half points per game this season. Didn't scratch in the first half. Carrick, look at 14 get up and get all up in there with two hands. Then defensively, pilfering himself this time. Just the lay-in, that's still nice. Smith, look at him, that's my boy. And then Carrick decided to light it up from the outside for three. The Cardinals hoisted 43 point shots. Carrick had six of them connected on four. Louisville up 12, blowing out the Orangemen at this point. Preston Knowles, the alley-oop. Carrick goes up and gets uh, Ricky, why is this guy on your bench? Get him significant minutes. 78-68, everybody nuts at Freedom Hall as they say goodbye in style. Carrick, 22 points, all of them in the second half. Syracuse now, the sixth team this season to lose is the number one team. All those else coming on the road. It's the most in a season since ESPN started putting its name on the coaches' poll during the 97-98 season. At home or neutral, everybody's great. Top-ranked teams 19-0. After the game, Holly Rowe locked down Rick Pitino to talk about the win. This is such a big moment historically, but more important for your team. How does this set you up for the rest of the season? Well, we're in the tournament now. Not even Joe's bracket busting can bust us out of it now with 11 Big East wins. And how do you describe this final moment here in Freedom Hall? You know, I've been so lucky in my life. I got a chance to coach the Knicks, the Celtics, Providence, Kentucky here. And to me, this is one of the most special nights. I've never felt pressure coaching in two championship games. Tonight, I felt a lot of pressure.